Hi, welcome to Eden's Fun Crochet, and today I will be showing you how to make a crochet pouch of any size. This is a really good pattern for, this is a really good tutorial for manipulating a pattern. So today we will be making this size, um, just a handy little size for holding knickknacks like um, erasers and safety pins, stuff like that. I actually use mine to keep safety pins in there um, for when I crochet actually. Um, but as we go along in this video, I will show you how to how you can make it smaller or bigger if you desire. So let's get started. To get started, I'm using two different colors, a variegated and a solid um, in worsted weight, red heart yarn, um, size four. And I'm using a size H hook or a five millimeter. Um, so what I, so I'm gonna do, as you can see in on this one, I'm doing a solid color base and then two row stripes and then a solid color, I guess you could call it a cuff, but the pattern is not gonna change. It's just gonna, you're just not gonna change colors. Um, same as the base. And then, um, um, and then, you can use a third color. I'll probably just end up using the variegated for the um, drawstring. So yeah, um, we will be using a single crochet, and we are working in the round. So um, I'm going to show you how to make a magic circle or a cinch circle, whatever you want to call it. So how I do it is I wrap it around. I use three fingers and my thumb. Um, so my thumb holds the tail against the middle of my three fingers and then I wrap it around and I cross over on the bottom but not the top and then I hold it with my pinky like this. So it should be crossed over on the bottom but not the top. So I'm going to insert my hook under the first one and over the second one and bringing it up and twisting it like this. And then under, start from the left side, under the yarn, and then pulling it through, creating a knot. And then when you pull the tail, you'll be able to cinch the circle. So we are working in this loop. So we will do six single crochets into this loop. So you, I will be crocheting over the top of it, but make sure you don't snag your tail so that you can still pull it at the end of the first row. So you're going to pretend that this circle is its own stitch and you're just going to um, crochet into it like you would any chain or anything like that. So you're going to chain, not chain, sorry, single crochet six into the magic circle. So when you have six um, single crochets and you're just going to pull your tail and cinch that closed. Pull it as tight as you can, but not too tight because you don't want it to snap. And then you're going to um, slip stitch into that first single crochet. And then chain one. And then we're going to do two single crochets in each um, in each stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to do two, 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 two in each, and that one will give you 12. So I already went ahead and slip stitched into that first chain. Sorry, not chaining that first um, 
single crochet. And then, <clears throat> so from here, we are going to do two single crochets in one stitch and then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around. So we're increasing and then not um, every other. So we'll do two into the first one and then one and then two and then one and then two all the way around. And then slip stitch and crochet chain one. And then we're going to do one increase and then two regular. So two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, all the way around. Slip stitch and chain. And then we'll do one increase and then three stitches and then one increase. So it'd be two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, all the way around. So that's how you make a flat circle is you just increase one less per row or you add one stitch in between per increase. Um, so that's how you um, would make a circle that lays flat. And then when you want it to start um, going straight up is when you stop increasing and then you just do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and that will create a um, a rise and, and it will stop laying flat in a circle like this. So, and if you um, don't put that space in between the increases, then it's going to start to shrivel and be really wavy. So we want to make sure that we have um, this, the increases spread out so that you don't get that wave and so you can have a flat circle. So I did a total of six rows, but you it's super easy to make it as big or as little as you want. My pouch is perfect. It's like palm size, perfect palm size. So it's a small pouch where I keep small um, miscellaneous things in. But if you want a bigger bag, it's super easy. You just keep increasing um, with um, the amount of stitches you have in between the increases. So for the next row, so this row I did four in between um, each increase. So the next row I'd have five stitches in between each increase. And then you just keep going until you get the size that you want. So you can have a smaller bag or this size bag or a little bit bigger or even a humongous bag. So that's the trick for making a base for your bag. And then I'm gonna show you how I color change. So when it is something that has a right side and a wrong side, like this, you can't see the inside. Um, so I, don't cut my colors. I just drop it and pick it up and I don't hide it. I don't crochet over it I because you can't see it on the inside. Um, if I was doing something like a blanket, then I might crochet over it because then you have two sides um, and you can see both sides. And so this is not a hidden color change, um, but that's okay since there's only one right side. So how I do this is I drop um, the one color, but I want it to be on the inside so you can't see it. So make sure you have it on the inside or you can have it on the outside and then um, flip it inside out later if you want, but I'm just gonna do it on the inside. Um, and then I also want this tail to be on the same side that I have this tail. And then I am going to start my single crochet like I usually would. And I'm gonna use this yarn instead of this yarn to yarn over and then crochet with. And if this is too loose, which it often will be, then you can just pull this and make it a little bit tighter. Or you could pull this and make this a little bit tighter. Um, and you don't wanna cut this because we're gonna pick this back up later. 
So we're going to just single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Um, so yeah, you can crochet in just the front loops and make it more of a, um, uh, like more, more noticeable that like that's where the bottom stops and the walls begin. But I'm not going to do that because I didn't do it on this one and you can see it works out just fine because when you stop increasing it just, um, it starts to make the walls. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to single crochet all the way around and I will meet you at the end of this row. So I already slip stitched and chained ending this row. Um, I, I'm going to continue working with the variegated yarn and I'm just going to single crochet, um, in each row, I mean in each stitch all the way around. And then at the end of this row, then we will do, um, our second color change. So as you can see on this one, I have a four row change. So it's four rows of the variegated and then two rows of the pink and then four rows of the variegated. Um, so it's four, two, four. This one, I'm going to do two rows. So it's going to be two variegated, two solid, two variegated, two solid. And so I'm going to have a few more rows of the stripes on this one than this one because these have fatter stripes. Um, you can do whatever you want. You can have the whole, um, walls be the variegated um you can have it all be one solid color really whatever you want i'm gonna do a two row uh variegated i mean a two row stripe pattern um so that um yeah just because i want to um so uh, um so to change the colors again <clears throat> just like last time you're gonna drop the color you were working with um, in the front um, and then pick up um, the solid color and I already did the slip stitch and the chain one um, so I'm going to go into that next um, stitch and I'm just going to single crochet and then I'm going to tighten this so it's not super loose and then I'm just going to um, single crochet all the way around twice with this color. So I did three rows of each stripe. So, I mean of each color for the stripes. So six stripes total. And then, so with the solid color, so we're not gonna change colors anymore. So we're just gonna do orange so you can Cut the variegated with a pair of scissors. Like, boop. And now it's, we're done with that color um, with the striping. And so what we're going to do is um, create the holes for the, for the strap. So this one actually doesn't have I didn't create any I just put it between the stitches so you can do that if you want but for this one I'm gonna do the hole so let me show you how to do that so we're going to single crochet three and then we're gonna chain one and skip a stitch and then single crochet three so if you want, um, so I'm just creating the hole for it to go into. You can create a bigger hole, but I'm just going to do the one and then I'm still going to weave it in and out like this. So we're going to do that all the way around. We're going to single crochet three and then chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet Three, all the way around. So when you finish going all the way around, then we're going to single crochet all the way around twice. So we're going to have five total rows of this top orange. So what we're going to do when we come across those chain spaces, 
where we're going to insert the the strap we're just going to crochet right into that like if it's a stitch So we're going to crochet into that chain space and we're going to crochet all the way around, crocheting into those chain spaces and then all the way around one more time. So we're going to have five total rows of this top orange color. And then we'll cut the yarn and fasten off when we finish those five rows. And then we'll weave in that end. With the variegated, we are going to chain 80. Depending on the size you are making of your pouch, um, depends on how long you want to make it. So for the size that I'm doing, I'm going to chain 80. But the smaller the bag, the smaller um, the strap, and then the bigger the bag, the bigger the strap. So we'll go ahead and chain your, your strap depending on how big you want the bag, how long you want the straps to be. Um, mine's long enough to tie in a simple bow, but you can um, make it as big or as long or as short or whatever as you want. It really doesn't matter, whatever you prefer. Because we are not crocheting into this chain you can make it as tight as you want to make it a little bit more even i know that sometimes when you make it more tight it makes it more even and easier um to make them even but you can make it um, um as loose or as tight as you want but remember that because you're not crocheting into it um you'll want to make them as even as you can Weaving in ends on a chain is a little bit more difficult and a little bit harder to hide, but I'm going to show you two ways that um, I do it. You can glue them on if you want. Um, but this is, so this is how I do it. The, I'm going to show you one way on here and one way on this one, because this one's a little too short to put on a needle. So what I do is I just put the needle on. The tail and then I just weave it back and forth so once you got it weaved in there then you just pull it through all of those and pull it out and then you don't have to do the whole thing because you can just cut it. So that's how you do one. That's one way of doing it. And then another way of doing it is just using your hook. And then just weaving it through. So I insert my hook first and then I grab the end and pull it through. And then I just go back and forth. And then you're going to decide which way you want to be the front or like that because it's got kind of the yellow and the blue in there like that. So I'm going to find a, a spot. So these two chain spaces are going to be where my front is. So I'm going to insert it in this one and go around this way and then... It will come out here so it won't connect from here to here oh no that's wrong i'm going to insert it from this way because this is going to be the front of the end so it's going to be inserted this way and then it 
Ta-da! So this um, is how it looks. Um, you can, if you want it to be more like cinched like this and less like this, then you can um, do every other stitch if you want. There's so many different ways that you can do this um, pouch. Um, it's a very simple um, way for you to learn how to kind of manipulate what you're doing to make it how you want. Um, so if you want the bottom bigger, then you do more increases. If you want it taller, you just keep going. If you want it cinched more, you do it in between more stitches. So every other stitch or every two stitches. If you want this longer, you can crochet it longer or not. It's a very simple pattern to manipulate into um, what you're looking for. Um, and you could do it in so many different sizes. And there's just so many um, different ways for you to do it.